How's it going, YouTube? Scotty Von G70 with another football video for you guys. Um, I got a couple comments the last couple days about um, showing all my football cleats, and I think today's the day to do it. Um, again, this is just all the cleats that I have. Um, some of them are super clean because I haven't worn them yet uh, on the field. But regardless of that, I will show you all the cleats that I have. Um, and all the cleats that I intend to wear throughout this next year. Um, and yeah, we'll start. Um, this is in no particular order. Um, it's just out of the box that I have. Out of the box that I have. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So I have these Nike um, Hyper Venom soccer cleats. I have no idea like if they're like one point. I don't know what, it's from a couple years ago. So. And black and gold, kind of cool, kind of bougie. Now I don't have a lot of black cleats, but I have these Nike Hyper Venom uh, cleats. Next, I have the Nike Hirachi Sevens, uh, white black. Um, again, I like the. I've worn these. Um, I just going out to the field and everything this summer, and all that kind of stuff during the spring. So I like these a lot. Um, have these video, I have these, uh, in a video, um, on my channel. Addy Zero, uh, Five Star 7.0, uh, mid, I think, I believe. Um, the lacrosse. Also have these on my channel as a video. Um, I like these cleats a lot. Again, same cleat pattern, uh, that Adidas has been, that has had for a while, so... Addy Zero 7.0 mids. Grab another. This is super unorganized too, by the way. So, Addy Zero 7.0 lows. Um, I've had these for a while. Um, these are kind of my beater white cleats. So, like, I'll wear these... Um, and dirt and everything like that. Like these are just my beater Adidas cleats. Um, yeah, uh, I like the I like these, but low. Yeah, seven point low. All right, all right. Um, I do have doubles too, by the way. I'll show you just everything that I got. Um. These are the Nike Alpha Menace Elite 2017s. Um, as you can see, cleat pattern. Um, I don't, I actually might put these on my, um, on my, what's it called? Uh, sideline app, like the sideline selling app, just because I don't wear these a whole lot. Um, but yeah, uh, Adidas, I'm, Nike uh, Alpha Menace Elite 2017s. I just don't wear these a lot or enough um, for me to um, to like. I mean, I like them. I've had I wore them when I was in uh, my junior college. I have another pair out in the back over there that are just dirty as hell. Um, so I don't keep them in my box uh, to go out and use them a whole lot. And besides, this cleat pattern looks is the exact same as the Hirachi cleat pattern and the Hirachi does a lot better job just saying um, but yeah Alpha Menace Elite ones and if I can't find another cleat give me a second Well, it's in there somewhere. Uh, this is my Addy Zero 8.0 uh, low cleat. Kind of in decent shape. The toe's a little bit dirty, but dirty as hell on the back. I should probably clean these, but again, kind of my beater cleat, kind of. Uh, I don't really wear these on grass, but sometimes I will, but I still like the way they look. I have the other one somewhere in there. I don't want to keep digging around and wasting time, but yeah, I kind of just grab off the top. 
Um, Nike Vapor Untouchable 3s, I think. I don't like what whatever these are called, but I have these in black. Um, never worn these or Nike Vapor Untouchable Carbons or whatever. Never worn these. Cool looking though. I like the the negative space with the white. Um, this is like the second version of these. Um, I saw the first versions. Um, or like the like you know what I mean. Like they have a version of the one year and then next year they have a different version in a different colorway. Um, I think la the color before this was the primary and black. This one was your primary and white around. So it was like solid yellow, white around, solid purple, right around. And yeah, but yeah, all black. Cool. Nike Vapor Untouchable uh, threes, I believe. Another pair of Hirachis. Um, these are another, again, these are kind of like my actual um, cleats that I will wear um, like on dirt and grass and all that kind of stuff. Just because um, I like the gray, but I don't like, like, I mean, I, I still don't like them, but the Volt or like the green is okay. Um, they don't really match with the uniforms. So other than the gray, it kind of looks cool when you have all white and then the gray. But I will, but they, they, they stand up. I'm, I don't really go on a whole lot of concrete. I kind of wear slides and then put my cleats on, on the, on the grass. Um, even when I'm at practice, I'm kind of bougie like that, but we don't actually walk across a whole lot of concrete regardless, but I do it anyway. It's kind of just what I do, but, um, it saves the bottoms of your cleats, but yeah, these are Hirachi sevens, uh, by Nike. Gotta reach over. Um, Addy Zero, five star, I think, I don't even know, nine? Or, no, not even Addy Zero, Prime Knits, whatever. I have a video on them. Um, these are from last year. Um, but yeah, super cool. Can't wait to use these. Again, unboxed them like two or three days ago. So, check out that video too. I think putting them in is gonna be a bitch. But, ooh, I definitely need to clean these up or need a new pair. These are my Nike Vapor Untouchable uh, 3.0. Looking hella beat up. Um, I don't even know when I got them this beat up. But, they're looking rough these days. But I'll probably clean them up pretty soon. Um, I like these a lot. I wore these a lot. Indoors, outdoors, everything. Um... These cleats have almost been through it all. Um, I'll, I'll probably get another pair of these. If I can find them on, like, sideline swap, I will. Um, these could go on sideline swap uh, for something really cheap, but who knows. Uh, these are 11s. I like 10 and a halfs. So um, these fit really good, but, I mean, hey, why not? I'll I might clean them up. Who knows? I might keep them. I don't know. But, yeah, those are those. That one. Nike Vapor Edge 360s, OBJ. Um, these cleats are sick. Um, yeah, this is going to be a long video. But, well, not that long. I only have a couple more cleats in there, or one. But, yeah, OBJ, 360, Vapor Edge. Um, love these cleats. Again, the cleat pattern is amazing um, out on the field. Um, I haven't worn these on grass. I think I'm probably not ever going to wear these on grass. Just because, like, they're bougie. They're super bougie. They're kind of expensive. Most I've ever spent on a cleat. Um... For sure, I think. Yeah, 100 most most expensive cleat that I have. Um, and probably the hardest to find, maybe. I know they have, like, this pattern and everything in the regular Vapor Edge. Um, but this one has, like, the lock laces on them and everything like that. Like, it comes with them. So, like, see? Yeah, it comes with them, all that kind of stuff. So, 
Nike uh, Vapor Edge 360 OBJ. And then last but not least, Nike Vapor Edge, just Vapor Edge Pro. Um, I wore these cleats all summer long. Um, all spring long when I got them, I think, I think I got them like right at the beginning of spring, maybe a little bit after, but I wore these all summer long, um, on turf fields and these things went crazy. Um, they're the best cl Nike cleat right now. Um, definitely gonna have to pick up another pair, um, or customize another pair pretty soon, which I'll probably do very soon. Um or wait till the next models of these, the twos come out or whatever. Um, but I like these a lot. These by far, one of Nike's best cleats. My two, my top two Nikes um, are definitely, um, now they're all in a pile, but the, the edge. Um, oh, and not just the like just not just the pros but the vapor edge 360s like the obj's i'll put them in there with these they the obj's are a lot lighter um but these perform just like those um i think my cuts have never been better on those and then also the hirachi sevens are definitely well i don't think they're slept down i think there are a couple nfl players who wear them but the hirachi sevens are definitely a great cleat to get like especially as a DB or a um, or a slot or something like that. A linebacker too could wear these, but they're a little bit soft um, on the foot. So just kind of be careful. I think all these are pretty soft on the foot. Um, but so you kind of got to be careful with that. But it's like this. It's like the th the untouchable threes, just with the Alpha Menis Elite plate on them. So they're pretty light. Um, they're very maneuverable with the plate. Uh, and all that kind of stuff, and I like them a lot, and none of my, uh, none of them, none of my cleats, by the way, have their soles in them, my cleats are soleless, all of them, um, I have two pairs of Victory insoles that I use, um, with all my cleats, I just have one that I wear when I work out, and then I have one that I put in during, like, game day and practice and all that kind of stuff, I might put a third one in there. They're all just for football. I know that like um they offer um like they offer ones for like gyms, like for like like gym training and basketball and all that kind of stuff. I just get them for football and just wear them like when I work out and everything like that and they don't really I mean like when I work out like in the gym and everything they they just like they they don't do anything cuz we don't really like um we don't do any like <clears throat> I don't know, like, we just don't do a whole lot of, like, um, football training in the gym, obviously, it's just lifting, so I just put them in, like, my, like, my track shoes that I got, or, like, my trainers, and just wear them in there, just because they're comfortable, they're super comfortable, too, um, but in football cleats, they go crazy, um, they're, they're, like, car, I mean, they're, it's just, like, carbon fiber, but the science on them, there is science on them, and this is just all I know is to me they give you a lot more pop in your football cleat than just having that flimsy piece of foam. Um, it offers more support for your foot. They have them by position, by weight. So like, um, what if you order Victory insoles? I wish I would. I wish they were like a sponsor or something like that. That'd be sick. But if you order Victory insoles, they'll ask for like your height, your weight, what sport you play, and what your position is. And by that, oh, and obviously your foot size. And by that, they will like construct your perfect um, insole for you. And again, it just gives you more. It does give you more pop um, on your football cleat. I've been able to control my body control with those compared to like without. It's not even close. Um, my feet, my foot speed, all that kind of stuff, all goes into it. Go look up Victory and Souls. They're expensive. I think they're like two hundred bucks, but they're so worth it. Uh, yeah, they're really worth it. But that's all of my football cleats. Um, there might be another day within the next couple, like within the next couple months, when I get some more um, testings in testing in like after the winter 
it's still snowing up here. So after the winter, hopefully I can get some all like some actual reviews done or something like that so I can like compare all these cleats. Again, next year's models come out pretty soon. Um, they kind of come out after the Super Bowl, after like college football, all that kind of stuff. So all their new, all that new stuff will be, kind of be put in. Um, and I'll definitely try to, to cop some of those, but that's, this is already 15 minutes. So I got to cut this bitch out. That's it for my video. Like, and subscribe, check out all my other videos. And I'm sorry that I had to talk this long. See you later.